the answer. The questions are yours. Thank you for these good questions we have before us today. We go to the Word of God, the Scriptures that cannot be broken to find answers. Let's get to question number one right now. Where does Satan's power come from? Well, as a created being, of course, uh, all his gifts and abilities came from God. John chapter 1 says, without him, without Jesus, without God, was not, not anything made that was made. So all of the capacities that Satan possesses uh, came from God originally, and he was perfect in the day that God created him until uh, iniquity was found in him, according to Isaiah chapter 14 and Ezekiel chapter 28. When Satan fell, he retained his powers but became an enemy of God. He is powerful, but I want you to know that God is all-powerful and that Satan was defeated by Christ at the cross and that Satan will be incarcerated in the bottomless pit throughout the eternities to come. Now question number two for today, will people be saved during the millennium? Well, those who rejected Christ with full knowledge of what they were doing will have strong delusion, according to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 11, that they might believe Antichrist's lie, and they all shall perish who receive not the love of the truth. However, I believe that there will be millions of people who have not truly been evangelized and who will enter into that thousand year period and I believe that the Holy Spirit for he is God and omnipresent will convict them of sin righteousness and of judgment and that people can be saved during the millennium if they had not rejected Christ before now question number three for today should churches today insist on Romans chapter 7, verse 3, verse 2. Well, that passage says that a woman is bound to the law of her husband so long as he lives. The only reason for divorce that Jesus gave us, uh, Matthew 19, verse 9, was that... Uh, sexual infidelity. Uh, nothing in this world today tells the rebellion of society against the laws of God so much as the pressure to make divorce easy in our society. I believe that churches should insist on the standards of the Bible, who on earth authorized any changes. The Bible says that a woman or a man are bound by the law of their marriage until their partner dies. Thank you so much for these good questions. I trust the answers have been helpful. If you have a question you'd like me to use on the Bible as the answer, please write it out, send it to me. I'll be pleased to hear from you, and I'll get to your question on the air just as quickly as I can. And when you write, all the address you need is simply Faith to Live By, Box 426, Winnipeg, Manitoba, R3C2H6. Heidi and Rick now, saved by grace, and then, by special request, my daughter playing in the garden. <laughs>